Sebastian Middle Martinez, MMA News here at Cage Warriors 103, where Mark O'Madson continued his undefeated streak by defeating Thibault Larcher by unanimous decision. So, Mark, this was a big win for you here in the home, like in your hometown advantage as well. How do you feel after such a hard-fought victory here in front of the Danish fans? I feel great. I mean, this is probably one of, I mean, the biggest experience I've had, and I've been fighting. Europeans, World Championship, Olympics in wrestling, but I mean, with this home crowd, it's one to take home. Yeah, but some of the British media here was talking about how this is one of the loudest crowds they've ever heard, and that's, you know, beating out UFC events and stuff like that. I mean, what's it like when you're there in the cage and you just hear how the people are going crazy for you? Well, I think this is important to remember. This is the biggest MMA event on Danish soil ever. Yeah. So... It's quite a big deal, and, and the hype here is, it's getting there. So this was, a, you know, an awesome event, and you always get a little extra when you get that kind of crowd cheering on you. So it was a great experience. And talk about the fight. It looked like early on you had him in trouble, but he managed to recover. He, you know, you couldn't really quite put him away. What was it that was missing for, to get the finish? Well, time, I guess. I'm, I'm 12 months old in this sport. Uh, I transferred into MMA 12, 12 months ago, so, you know, I'm trying to adapt. Yeah. I'm working my ass off every single day, working towards that goal of developing my maximum potential in this sport. So, right now I'm fighting, I'm fighting guys with 10, 15 years of experience in MMA. I'm doing the best I can, you know. The things that we're working on is, is paying off in the cage, but I need time. I need time to adapt, and, you know, I'm... I'm taking on pretty qualified uh, opponent right now. Mm -hmm. He was ranked 13 out of 664 on, on topology. So it was a tough opponent and I was, you know, I was excited. It was a big challenge, big opportunity. And it wasn't without adversary. In the last round, it looked like he had you hurt or maybe it was just a position. What was it like in sort of the last minute of that round where it seemed like he had a better position? Oh, I don't remember. Okay, maybe it just looked like that from where we were sitting. <laughs> but, so this was your seventh straight the victory, and obviously I'm sure you know the UFC are coming to Copenhagen in October. Is that something that you're eyeing, or do you maybe want to build yourself up a bit first? I would love to take my time, uh, you know, and get qualified. Uh, right now I'm focusing on building the infrastructure, infrastructure in Denmark. Mm -hmm. So I come from a small place in, in Denmark we don't have the infrastructure uh, infrastructure I need to to develop my my potential so right now I'm, I'm working on creating my own gym mm -hmm. getting the facilities I need to to develop my potential so I would like to take you know time to to become a better MMA fighter develop my craft um, but naturally if if UFC is coming to town that's a major opportunity and and I'm not sure I can turn something like that down, but but I'd love to become a, a complete MMA fighter. Mm. And what are your plans until then? I mean, do you plan on competing a couple more times? I mean, you've been staying extremely active so far. Do you want to take some time off, heal up? or time do you want off. To... <laughs> What's that, right? I'm here to compete, man. So <laughs> I'm going to get home now, take a couple of days with my family, with my two kids, maybe get my, my nose healed up. Then I'm back at it, working my ass off, and uh, I'm here to compete. All right, there you go. Fighters beware. As soon as his nose heals up, he'll be back in the cage. This was Sebastian Van Martinez, MMA News here at Cage Wars 103 in Denmark. Thank Mark, thank you very much. Congrats on the fight. Yep, thank you.